Hello, welcome to the gun shop. Today we have this for you, the Hauer Aussie Chassis Rifle. Aussie Precision Chassis Rifle. Uh, with the current trend in tactical chassis built guns, uh, the Ruger Precision, the Tikataka one, it wasn't long before these guys came out with one. And in fact, they actually came out with one sort of first, I suppose, in the HCR, the Hauer Chassis Rifle, but it was a fair amount of money. This, the Aussie Precision Chassis, is less money and I think a little bit nicer actually. Uh, so what you have is a standard Hauer action, any Hauer action will fit into this gun, have a varmint sporter as long as it is the standard action, it won't take minis and won't take long action, so if you want to shoot this in 30.6 or 270, you can't, uh, which isn't the end of the world because, well, you can't, you better get over it. Uh, this is a chassis built rifle, so this action clips into this chassis block, which clips onto this front Railish system. It's not a standard rail, but it, they are producing a range of accessories to clip onto it. It takes standard AR grips, standard AR stocks, so it's just a, a standard bolt fitment. Fairly easy to do. This particular stock is, is one option. They do a Luth AR stock that goes on it as well, uh, and they're the same price when you buy them new. It has this big squishy back on it, which will be really nice actually to help with some recoil. And it has a fully adjustable cheek piece. Uh, the cheek piece as it's set up is perfect, although you can set it up too far forward that you'll get ejection issues because you won't be able to rack the bolt the full way. But this is a really nice thing, very, very easy to adjust. So you take this off here, and you have a thing that you can then put on left-handed or right-handed. You have adjustments via Allen key there for up, down, left, right, and you've got various holes in different ways you can attach that to your rifle. You also have two bolt holes to attach the main lug to, so you can move it way up or way down to fit your scope absolutely perfectly, and yourself, I suppose, get your cheek weld perfect. Lovely. Uh, it comes with a back stud fitted. Uh, like with all things how they do do this in various packages, so there's a, a lot of little options. You can just go and buy this brand new with a rifle and action set up and go for gold. Uh, one thing that's worth mentioning is when you buy one of these, if you just buy the chassis or if you buy the rifle, it comes with this, the Legacy Hauer mag system. Very, very good, quite plasticky, but that's no bad thing. Everyone likes metal mags, but plastic doesn't bend, or it flexes, which is nice. Uh, you can fit floor plates, but I believe there's a slight fitment issue with the floor plate with the way this grip goes, so they supply it with a mag system. Why wouldn't you use it, guys? I mean, that's, that's what it's all for, really. Five or ten round, whatever you desire. Um, Lovely, I really like it actually. I probably wouldn't own one, it's not particularly my style. But, in the market of tactical chassis built guns, I think value for money, this, this has got it. This really has got it. It's a lovely looking gun, it's not gonna break the bank, and it's customizable, slightly more customizable than some of the other options. And the Hauer actions, they're good, you know, you can pay a little bit of money, get them trued up or rebarreled, and they are very, very good. The action and barrel setup is standard, it's fantastic for the money. However, if you require that top, top, super end accuracy, you can spend another 800 quid on top of these and have a match barrel put on, and you'll have a very, very, very reasonably priced, insanely accurate rifle. <laughs> but out of the box, it does the job. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. It's just a quick look over this one. We like it. What do you think? <laughs>